Right, let's look at this transformation question. Um, they've given us a shape, uh, trapezium, and they've labeled it A. And what's the first thing they're telling us to do? Right, draw and label the line Y equals two. So let's look at the Y line. Let's find positive two, and very neatly and accurately with your ruler, draw in the line y equals 2. And note what it says, label the line. So if you don't label it, you might lose some marks there. Now, reflect shape A in the line y equals 2. In other words, we're going to flip it over this y equals 2 line. So there's two ways of doing this. You can use your trusted tracing paper, and accurately, just for neatness sake, let's trace the given shape. You don't have to label it A or anything. And because we're going to reflect it across the Y equals 2 line, a handy tip from this point, let's draw a tail to the Y equals 2 line. Okay, and we're going to flip it over. And there you see exactly where you need to draw in shape B. Okay, so you can remove that. Let's make a few little marks there to help us and draw in shape B. Remembering, of course, to also label it because it clearly states in the question, or the instructions, label it B. Right, so we've drawn in Y equals 2. We've reflected, okay, reflected, flipped over, and now we're going to translate. Now, another word for translate is to move, okay? Move shape A two units to the right, okay? So we know we're going to move shape A that way and down. Right, let's go back to our trusted tracing paper. Let's make a mark. Go back to the question. Two units. There we go. One. Two units. Now don't forget, we've still got to go three units down. One, two, three. Okay. Again, make little marks nice and neatly. There we go. Fill in the necessary. I cannot stress more how much you must use your ruler at all times, okay? Right, we've translated, we've moved it, and we're now labeling it label shape C. Okay, we've done that. We've reflected, we've translated, and now we're going to rotate. This one sometimes is a little bit more tricky. So we're gonna go back to shape A, carry on reading the instructions. Shape A needs to be rotated through 90 degrees anti-clockwise. Now remember, a clock goes, this way, clockwise, anti-clockwise. So we're going 90 degrees anti-clockwise. And further instruction about point two, two. So we've got to find, remember along the passage first, there's two and there's two. So we're going to rotate it 90 degrees around that point, okay? So once again, tracing paper on, and let's draw a tail. And just hold the tracing paper carefully. We're going to draw a tail to this point X. Now, a useful hint now, because we're gonna move it 90 degrees, let's color in or just darken, whatever you want to do, but darken it or use a highlighter. That line lies horizontal. Now you know when that line lies in a vertical position, we're going to be moved, we would have moved it 90 degrees. So let's go. Okay, turn your tracing paper. Remember, we've got our pencil point on the X. And there we go. There we go. That's where we're going to draw in. We've gone 90 degrees now. Okay. There we go. Nice and neatly fill in all the necessary detail. Okay. And label this. What did they say? D. Okay, any one of the blocks doesn't matter. Label it 
D. Right, so we've done that. Now for two marks. It says here, write down the single transformation. Single transformation. Is it a reflection, a rotation, or a translation by which shape B maps onto shape D? So there's B and there's D. Now look at this carefully. Do you think we would have been able to translate this? No, I don't think so. Rotating it? No. So we left with a reflection. But look at this reflection. We've got to have a line running somewhere between this. So these two look the same. And I think the most obvious is that they have reflected it over. Now let's be pretty accurate about this. They've reflected it over the... Let's just look at what we know about these lines. We've been taught the formula for a straight line graph, graph is y equals mx plus c. The mx part being the gradient, okay, and the c part where it cuts or intercepts the y-axis. So it intercepts it at the point of origin, okay, so 0, y equals 0, but we have 1x, and it is a positive. So what do we know about positive? means the slope's going to run up. So one across, one up, join the line, and there's our y equals x. And that's exactly what we've just drawn in here now. y equals x. So our answer should be, it is a reflection, a reflection in the y equals x line. Have a look. Does it look like it's a reflection? Definitely is. Okay, you can take your tracing paper, putting your tracing paper over that, and flipping it over, and you will see that it will give you that shape from B or from that shape to there. Okay.